Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how we are building a greenhouse out of a carport. What I have here is a 20 by 20 uh, Tri-State carport frame. This is a used frame that we picked up uh, from, uh, from Tri-State themselves. It was actually a repo frame, a repo building, and at that point then they just sell the frame without the metal. So we got this thing for right about $300, and like I said, it's a 20 by 20. Right here, there's a real sharp edge uh, where we uh, where the metal meets, and so we're going to use some Gorilla Tape to wrap around all the, the edges, and so that the uh, plastic actually doesn't get cut whenever it's uh, touching the, the metal frame of the greenhouse. Like I said, this was a used greenhouse, so. Uh, meaning there was tin on it at one point and all along this top edge here there's a bunch of holes uh, where the screws were in so we're going to put some duct tape up here as well. It didn't take us too long to get the thing set up um, just uh, as long as you know the main thing was definitely getting the uh, the base square. I've seen them guys put uh, put these greenhouses or put the carports up before that uh, you know they do that for a living and they've done it in like 45 minutes. Okay, so now we're at my friend's shop where he makes uh, barn metal and we're going to wrap the whole bottom side of this with uh, 36 inches of, of metal horizontally. And this is his roller machine that he actually made. At this point we're still framing up the greenhouse uh, with some 2x4 as you can see that we got the metal put on and now we're starting to put the plastic on the ends. Uh, we are putting double layer plastic on this and that way we will uh, have a blower motor that blows air in between each layer of plastic and it will uh, be like a insulation barrier and keep the greenhouse uh, warmer in the winter time. As you can see here I've got the, uh, I've got the fan or the blower motor in inflating the two layers of plastic and so it's it's more of a dome on top on the outside layer and this really helps uh, like I said with insulation but you know with high winds it keeps the uh, plastic uh, stretched tight and with hail and stuff coming through um, in the stormy season it, it just bounces that right off. Uh, right now in this uh, photo here we don't have the ends inflated but we will be getting a, a jumper tube to go from the sides to each end and that will also inflate those as well but you can see here how this is bulged out here on the inside and this is the uh, the, the uh, fan the pump that's blowing air constantly and there's a little regulator on it but that just runs 24 7 and it just keeps a, a flow of air inside the greenhouse layers We grow in molasses tubs that we get from farmers. In the summertime, we notice that it gets extremely hot in here. So we've got some shade cloth. Uh, actually, this is just the mesh tarp, two mesh tarps that we got from Harbor Freight, but it works excellent for shade cloth and it's a lot cheaper than just going buying shade cloth. If you want to see that video, we'll link that in the top right corner, how we installed that. <laughs> we also need to install a fan. Instead of buying a dedicated greenhouse fan, we've decided to just go to a big box store and buy a 20 inch fan that uh, pumps out about 4,500 CFM and we're gonna put this in one end and it does an excellent job at keeping the greenhouse cool when it's really hot. Mm -hmm. 
back here at Lloyd's shop and he's going to break a piece of metal for us to mount the fan in. Now that we've got our template, we're going to have to cut that inner circle out, so we're going to use the plasma cutter to make easy work. This little fan moves a tremendous amount of air. And we've got it installed. So hey, thanks for watching how we built a greenhouse out of a carport. We'll see you on the next video.